Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm the K-pop mailman. It's an exciting day today because and hype and dropped their Orange Blood concept trailer. So obviously with Dark Blood we had something like this um, with with Sung Hoon and all the boys really, but uh, focus a lot on Sung Hoon obviously. Um, and so I'm interested to see where this one goes because that one was very dark, hence the Dark Blood. And with Orange Blood, the way from with the little bit of uh, spoiler things that they've been doing um this past week leading up to this it seems like this is supposed to be more brighter concept um from what i'm gathering from their like hints they're dropping uh which you know they can do it all we know this um so i'm excited to see where this one goes although for the concept trailer the first scene here is very dark so i'm assuming we're going to progress through this video it's like a seven minute but yeah it's like almost seven minute video which we love i love that the boys have been doing this and they've got these like films that we get to watch and it's just it's been great so i'm really excited if you don't know huge engine they're my old group um i've been with them since before island started i was involved in the um the live audience finale for island like they're my boys. They're my world. And so anytime I get to react and hype in, it's just the best, the best of everything for me. So let's get into it, guys. I'm excited to see what the boys have for us. Didn't even tell who that was. Okay. Wow. So this is this is exactly from the last one. Sung Hoon had her uh, bite him. Oh my gosh, Sanu. Oh, he's got his neck marks, it looked like. He does. Yay, he's got it. My man's. Oh, she's got Jake in her hands. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. Them with their neck bites is like my favorite photo shoot too. I think I have everybody's. Wait a second. Well, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. I'm gonna turn off the caches. Like, there's really no reason for them if they're gonna put them here. Cause then it's like doubling. Oh, okay. Oh, she's got a piercing on her lip, too. See, now we're getting into the bright. I need to read Dark Moon. I actually have it uh, pre-ordered since they're having the hard copy. This is given, like, Dimension Dilemma... The one photo shoot with Dinky with his long hair. That's the vibes, the colors, you know. That's so cute. Oh, that was Jake, wasn't it? Ready? Our, hu our husband and wife. <laughs> Never beating the allegations. You're all right, Jay. That's right. This Jung Wan, I feel like we haven't seen Jung Wan much. Yeah, so they're not vampires anymore, is what this is saying. Is cause they can be injured and stuff like that? Like, I would assume. Oh, and they're like with her and stuff. 
Because like we we kind of had this at the end of the last trailer for Dark Blood is that like Sung Sung Hoon was basically they were with the like voiceover stuff is was like, saying like it is only right that all of this power, like the them being vampires, goes back to you, returns to you. Like we're giving it up and it's going back to you. Like I said, I have not read Dark Moon and Blood Altar. I want to. It's just I have so much other stuff going on. So I'm going to read it now that I can get it in a hard copy. I think it ships in like November or December. Um, so I do have that ordered. But that seems like that maybe are we completely leaving vampires behind now? You know, like, are we done with that? Was that, you know, we did that for however long, and now they're going to kind of move into a different concept? Intrigued. Oh, shit! This was... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, this was... Wasn't this like a, 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 a mama stage? Or like this is a hundred percent, hundred percent something that they have done before. Oh my god! It has to be one of the mammoth stages or something, or a stage for one of the like end of the year awards. I swear this has a hundred percent been done before, and I love that they brought it full circle from being in like a stage and just being a choreo they did to being like part of their their lore. This really gives that mentioned dilemma uh, photo shoot vibe a hundred percent. Oh, but then the flowers remind me of Answer. The flowers really remind me of Answer. You know the one where like Jungwon had uh, a band aid with the flower. Got a couple of them did. I knew Jungwon's one I remember a lot. Man, she's tall. She seems taller than she was in the last video. 100%. Of course, so now, now I should have captions on. Is it going to actually work, though? Because last time, I don't think it did. Uh, last uh, year. Yeah, it is. Why they do that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> funny, funny that Sunny was like, they're like, you like it? We know Sunny loves, he loves trying foods. He loves them. The fact that I want to try Taboki so much stems from the fact that I know Sunu loves it so much. <laughs> like, it makes me want to try it even more. No, everyone's gone. Young Wana, I think, right? Oh man, is this like an apocalypse? Like, what the hell is happening? The world's like ending. Didn't she do? Oh, she did that in the back of the car. At the beginning of the last one. So that not, that wasn't really her? <gasps> Dude, the insidious fucking violins. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, the horror. Dude, uh, yes. I'm a horror fiend, if you guys don't know. She fucking took the new in there? And it was in the attic. And you know what that reminds me of, too? We're going to pause, guys, like, because I'm into this shit. And I love horror. But, like, she's up in the attic. And, like, ideally, she took Sanu in there. And this is not Suha. Um, and I feel like I remember, like, watching some videos after the last trailer where people were like, but that's not Suha. Is that this girl? Because, like I said, I haven't read the webtoon yet. So I know. But there's apparently another girl, maybe. That's, like, more bad. So... It, that makes sense. But anyways, she took him up into that attic. And it's just interesting because, like, you remember in um, Give and Taken when we had our, like, little break before we went to, like, the chorus, like, the last chorus, I think it is. And then, like, 
Sun Nu's up there and he's with Jung Wan, I think, though, and he's in an attic and he bites Jung Wan and then then the mirror or the window cracks. Like, I don't know. It just feels like a callback to me. And also, can we talk about our boys and their acting right here? I'm my whole I thoughts, everything's out the window. It's so interesting. I'll talk about it here in a second. Park G1, that's the girl. See, look at the the like art stuff. This I I'm telling you. This was beautifully done. Uh, and I'll talk about it here in a minute. Once we get done here. Just keep think about look at all these things here. Ooh, a spider. An interesting spider. Ooh, the heart with the flowers coming out of it. Kind of a, feels like a callback to um, Fever. We had the shot on the heart that was chained up. As always, just beautifully done cinematography. Wow, Kodak film. Yeah, and all kinds of people in on this one. Okay, we're gonna back up here. I wanted to make sure there wasn't like anything else. Orange blood. Ooh, so we are on to like a new set. Okay, we're on to a new, which makes sense because, like I said, I don't follow the webtoon, but I know of it and I know about it and I know it's Blood Altar. Um, and to my knowledge, it had ended, hence why we were getting the hardback. You know, well, I think it's a paperback, but getting like a hard copy of it becoming available to us, a volume, if you will. And it must be because we're now moving on to our next volume, Dark Moon, Two Moons. Which makes sense since it seems like they're transitioning away from the vampire being like their core concept um, and we're moving into something new. But let's just I want to go back to this real quick, this final shot, because I feel like. And I could be wrong. But I feel like we get. And we got it throughout most of this video. Like. Kind of revisiting all of the eras we had with. The blood altar, I guess you would say that part of their their musical career, that part of their story. Um, I feel like this scene here and a lot of the parts of this this trailer show us bits and pieces of different eras. Like I said, I mentioned um, multiple things, you know, the dimension dilemma. I don't remember specifically out of the three versions, which one it was. That was when the boys were all in a lot more colorful stuff. Nikki's hair was long and there was the painting. You know, he he, he had uh, I think there was photo cards with him with a paintbrush and stuff and like even some of the outfits they had like the kind of fluffy purple like a uh, pullover or like sweater that nikki was wearing i believe it was nikki kind of throws back to that as well and then you have here like this this here this face is a, a sculpture or a statue's broken face here kind of feeds back into our you know that time dilemma um dimension dilemma and all the different versions were named after like greek mythology um different things like that and then we move into the flowers this is something i talked about before the flowers really 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 look reminiscent of dimension answer um photo shoots and stuff with them out in the field and all that and then the, the band-aids with the with the flowers growing out of it we also see the part with the heart here which also had flowers growing out of it here's some paint like i said from that thing that photo shoot a lemon. I don't know if lemons means anything. The shell. This could be like stuff when they were on the beach with like tame dashed. Like I said, the heart obviously really reminds me of fever. We get that zoom in on the heart, but it's chained, you know, but now it's not. It's got flowers growing out of it. But I think just overall, there was a lot of throwbacks to their their old music videos and lore like i said with the whole uh attic with sanu and originally it was sanu and jung wan and sanu bites Wan, and give and taken um and before we get to like our final course our finale and you know in the end of this it seems like like i said i don't know name wise i don't know if it's actually suha or somebody else because i heard that there's two two girls and one might be more evil this is all just stuff i've hearsay i've heard from around i feel like so is, you know, that she took him up there to turn him 
or you know and she or she killed him i'm like i don't even know what happened there and then you know he carried that on at some point i don't know it's very intriguing all this is so interesting and i just love that they're doing these concept trailers which are which are movies to set up or continue to push lore and to like really build that universe. And I'm just a big film person, um, especially horror. So it's great that they, you know, tend to lean into that side of things. And the acting was just so good. All the boys did amazing. And I'm interested. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on what some of this stuff means. If I missed anything that you saw and that you noticed, uh, any theories you guys have, I know they'll be around. I know there's a handful of accounts that really dive into uh uh theories like uh was it lena sunflower she does a lot bookish theories i kind of i try to watch those when i can like they they really know what they're doing and they they take it so seriously and it's awesome and i love to to hear what their thoughts are but i also love to hear your thoughts because you know fresh eyes and um stuff is always great to to have on it and you may see something somebody else didn't so let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this trailer how excited you are for Orange Blood. Also, like I said, they were kind of, with their spoiler things, seemed to be saying it was more bright. And there was parts here that obviously showed more bright, but then we have the dark shit that happened at the end. So, like, what are we doing? Are we not completely getting rid of the dark? I don't know. I'm curious. I'm curious uh, where we go here um, with this. So, yeah, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. As always, uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. We will definitely be doing and hype and comeback content always. That is a must that's those are my boys so um definitely subscribe if you want to see that content when it comes out and i really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel and uh, giving me your time i hope you have a great day